Hey, hey there, everybody. On Ruby here. Playing the second episode of Deadly Premonition. Last time we left off, we had some weird ass nightmare sequence in which I could not aim for shit because my controls were messed up, which I am glad I have fixed today. So now I will be aiming. Uh, now I'll be aiming much better. Also, I found out about the quick equip menu, so I didn't have to keep going back into the um, <laughs> inventory screen every time I wanted to change between. Um, I want to change between my bat and my gun. But now, the thing is, the we now what's happening is, my brain got in has gotten used to the weird aiming of this game, so I am trying to move the analog stick up and down to go left and right. It'll be very quick to fix, but yeah, if, I, if you see me go whoop, 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 randomly for some times, you'll know why. Cool. So, lo last time we left off, we met this weird looking guy with the raincoat and shit. Uh... He tried to kill us, wait, maybe? I don't remember. There were some zo zombie looking people, either way. There's a lot of weird stuff happening, some woman's been murdered. And we're going to find out, hopefully, f solve this mystery. Medal. Agent Honor. So, do we have a car or anything? Am I just being dumb? Did I miss the car? Okay, maybe this is gonna be a waste of time, but it is entirely possible that... Oh no, we crashed our car. Didn't we? Eh. Well, if it turns out I am being dumb, I'll just reload my save. Yeah. Last time last time was the first time we joined York on his adventures, and this game reminded me a lot of Silent Hill 2 with the way it does certain things and the certain sounds it has and stuff. So... Uh, oh, just the loading screen. Yeah, okay, so we were meant to just run. Now you were very late. Emily Wyatt, Greenvale Deputy Sheriff. Hello. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Just York. Good, that's good. <laughs> no. Agent York. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? Yes. My car broke down, that's all. Or you crashed it and a bunch of weird shit's been happening. You could tell her the truth, you know? She's easy on the eyes. <laughs> Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. Uh, By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. No, you know she's standing right there, don't right? Don't want that, do we, Zach? Welcome to Greenvale. I'm the sheriff, George Wood. Where did you come from? Tell me, George. George Woodman, Greenway Sheriff. Where did you come from? You just showed up from behind me randomly. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Call me York. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. <laughs> nice jacket, dude. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one <laughs> and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. Of course. Of course. By the way, George, I <laughs> had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. Dude. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Dude, you've come here and you're just ordering these people around as if you own the place. Do you need anything else? Oh, they're not going to like you. 
Thanks. That'll be all. Well then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. Call me York. And we'll oh, handle the investigation. You didn't you like just that. Think of this as a vacation. <laughs> Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife here. Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just met the king. <laughs> nice gravity, my dude. Welcome to Greenvale. I'm sure we'll be spending a lot of time here. Cleared. Nice. Let's go. Payment rewarded, basic wage, unpaid salary, total funds, total amount. Yes, let's save. We're locked here. Maybe I should have played for like 20, like 2 minutes more last episode so we didn't have to like <laughs> go through this right at the beginning of a new episode, but... Previously during the investigation, Zach Beer. Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making Ooh, me go to another town in the boondocks. I love these previously I didn't during think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff. George Woodman, call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. There's the coffee. Twin Peaks coming through again. Coffee, 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 coffee. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why don't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. This guy grandma speaks like a Half-Life 1 character. Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. You should go, dude. Going to the movies is such a fun experience. Episode 1. Zero 01. First day of the investigation. Let's go. I'm back in this weird place. Sugar donut. Take height. Cool. It's locked. Open. It's locked. Thanks. Cool. Stop adjusting. Look, the camera's normal now, okay? You can stop adjusting yourself to try and go left and right with the up and down. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Open. Where does this go? This place reminds me. Uh, if 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 anybody's in, if you guys have played Skyrim, this place reminds me of where you go when you meet Shea Gorath in Skyrim. York. York. Hello, kid. Who are you? Fuck is that? Oh, it's just one of the zombies. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hmm. Really? Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth.
Okay, so they can't see you if you're holding your breath. This reminds me of a lot of, um... Uh, I'll tell you just now. Who are you? Okay then, there's this um, indie Taiwanese horror game called Detention, and in that game also there are there's, there are these monsters, ghost type things that um, can't see you or don't can't notice you if you're holding your breath, so you can just walk right past them, and they also like bend back like that. If they see you, they try to attack you like that. I really like that game. This is a nice hotel room. Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. Hmm. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. It's you from the past. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. <laughs> coffee. Everyone in the Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. Is obsessed with I coffee. hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. <laughs> then we can head to the sheriff's office. Cool. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? Uh, looks comfortable enough, though I'm starting to miss my own bed back home. Suitcase. What's that? Suit agent. Suit made for an elite FBI agent. Perfect for work in the field. Looks almost brand new. No problem. Suit workaholic. Businessman suit. Perfect for long hours of overtime. Looks almost brand new. No problem. No problem. What does that mean? Suit with a red jacket. Sometimes it's good to change image. Oh, looks almost brand new. No problem. What does that mean? Look, no problem. Does it mean like it has no status effect or something? Because I've looked through the DL, like the extra content uh, menu for this game, and there's like suits you can wear, but you have to you do those before you go into the game, where they give you like extra money or experience or health and stuff. Uh, nothing of any interest for me. Turn on TV. Yep, there's just a man yelling while parachuting. What looks like it? Uh, he looks like he's having fun. Let's just let him have fun by himself. I have a feeling that I forgot something, Zach. Uh. Oh yeah, I can't leave without going to coffee, can I? Going and getting coffee. Uh. Should report to headquarters to give them an update. Nah, I don't want to save just yet. Uh. An only typewriter. Almost antique. Feels good to take a break once in a while from civilization. Toolbox. Uh, Toolbox where I keep my stuff. Let's, let's look. It's in here. Just one steel pipe. No. It can stay there. Let me just look through these, this menu. Let's see if there's anything else of interest here. So this is like just the general screen. Here's my items. So I currently have um, one pistol. I have a pistol with... Um, 270 bullets. That is a lot of... No, wait, that's 10, 10 millimeter ammo. Oh yeah, now... Oh yeah, I forgot. The pistol has an infinite ammo. Never mind. So the pistol has infinite ammo. Item. First aid kit. Small. Coffee. Milk. Covers a little tiredness. Clear restores pulse rate and also keeps it low for long. So stamina. Sugar donut for hunger. Hunger. Cigarette. To pass time. So I have 20 cigarettes. Pickles for hunger. Flare. 
Ooh, lights. Okay, that's it. What's here? Nothing, nothing. Ooh. Map. First eat breakfast, then get some coffee, the investigation can wait. That is not sound like good work ethic, my dude. I don't have any side missions. Cool. Cool, so it's my bed. There's just a bunch of stuff around here. It's main target area. What does that mean? Francis York Morgan. Oh, this, this is a pretty big place. That's the map. The key flag. Mysterious shadow machine broke my axe red ivy. Hmm. Okay, so there's like clues and stuff. Trading cards. Hey, I have a card of myself. Francis York Morgan. The main character, known for his surreal demeanor, he talks with his dual personality named Zack during investigations. Okay, so it is a dual personality. Okay, so, because I was like, who the fuck is Zack? Does he have an earpiece? And I was like, no, he doesn't have an earpiece. Is he just talking to himself or what? No, he just has a dual personality. I got it. Hmm, what if the kid... What if that boy he's been seeing is, um... What if Zack is, like, his dead younger brother, or, like, his dead brother or something, and the kid he's been talking to is, like, him remembering Zack? Or something like that. Profiling. Francis York Morgan, George Woodman, Emily Wyatt, Anna Graham, Francis York Morgan, George Woodman, Emily Wyatt. Okay. Profiling. Woodpath. So there's a cut there. Couple miss piece of missing information there. Options. Oh, that's all. Can I turn the sound up? No, I cannot. And finally, just quitting the game. Okay, cool. Let's get going. Uh, what's through here? Looks like the door was unlocked. Simple guide to Greenwell with an overview of the shops in town. A and G diner. Delicious turkey sandwiches. Milk barn, convenient store with rock and roll music. Enjoy your evenings at Galaxy of Terror and Sweary Six. Mmm, Sweary Sixty Five, eh? Too many drinks. Drop by the Greenvale General Hospital. Okay, I forgot what numbers he has at the end of his name, but the creator of this game, the developer of this game, is called Sweary. He also has numbers at the end of his name. Is it Sixty Five? I'm not sure. I forgot. So that's the way. So wait. Uh. Uh. Map. So. I'm here... Wait, where does these doors go? Map is confusing. Let's open it. Sorry, where am I right now? Okay, cool, so that's inside my room and this is outside my room. So where does the other door go? Is it just two doors? Where does my other door go? So there's a little kitchen area. Oh, this is, a, this is quite a nice place to stay. Oh, okay. No, I, th this, I thought this also led to the to the corridor. No, this is just more like this is a bathroom. Hmm. Serve. Taking a shower might help clear up our thoughts, Zach. Hmm, not bad. Shave. Yeah, nice for shaving. So is, oh, is our beard gonna grow in real time or something? Like as the days go by, beard gets longer. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I've heard a lot of <laughs> get money for sure. I've heard a lot of stuff about this game and about it, how it's really detailed in some ways. I have no idea what to expect, so I'm just exploring my environment right now to see if what I can do, what I can't do, and stuff like that. Hmm, go to the toilet. 
I just quickly uh, option. Oh yeah, there we go. Why is the vertical axis inverted? Cool, let's go. Sorry for taking a lot of time just exploring this place and not much of interesting stuff happening. Just wanna quickly, um, just wanna get a accurate, like, visual of my surroundings, what's happening where. So this is a hotel I'm imagining. I mean, hotel. So the door's unlocked. Whose room is this? Is this some random person's room that I'm gonna just barge into? Hello. Sexy painting. Or what's meant to be. It's just very, very blurred out. Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, so if you run into a door, he just knocks that shit open. How did I end up here? So there's two phones there. Eh, fuck it, I'm not gonna... Uh, let me just go have lunch. I'm confusing myself. Ooh, wait, no, never mind. There's a bunch of cool flowers here. Medal. Honor. Agent Honor. Cool. Let's go. Let's go to the cafeteria. So York. Ah, uh, I seem. Lord York seems like him, but he has a bit of a cockiness issue. I mean, he talks to like these small, like these small town people in front of their faces, saying shit like, "Hmm, they're primitives." I might go primitive, and you're like, dude, dude, just calm down a bit, dude. Like, you're appearing like an asshole for, to these people. They already don't have a high opinion of you because, because of, like, you're just some fancy FBI agent that just showed up on their doorstep and also made them wait, like, hours. So now you're also antagonizing these people as well. Seems like a nice place. Various expensive sounding dishes are listed on the menu, though none of them really appeal to me. I'll opt for some junk food and coffee anytime, right Zach? Hmm, coffee. Let's just steal some random coffee we found on a found on a table. I'm sure there won't be any consequences. If there are consequences in the game for me taking that coffee, I will be extremely surprised. Bones, if I want to save. Extra for observation. Nice. This kind of foodstuffs, not my favorites though. Ooh, nice music. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for what you. What is that posture? Lady, what have you been... This music? Thank you, Mrs. Oxford. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? What? <laughs> yeah. Let's admire yes. her. It's delicious, Polly. 
My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. <laughs> I, I, I said, couldn't help but notice. I missed lunch today, so this is all just making me, me hungry. There seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Oh, Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Probably oh, not. No, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but... He's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. <laughs> Must be hard by yourself. <laughs> oh my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. <laughs> Dude, you guys are sitting oh on the opposite my, ends of a like a 20 meter long me. table. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old. For Stop you. hitting on and the grandma. I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. <laughs> You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. Dude, you're the one that picked the large what table. The of all this space. <sighs> <laughs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Barrett's Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working <laughs> on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah, let's ask her, dude. Yeah, let's go. Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, <laughs> but the town is called Green Bay. Thanks. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. Only 600 this people in this town? Yikes. Then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Hmm. Yeah, tell me yes, about the shops. actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&G Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Where did I get the stuff for the art gallery well, in this town? Mr. Morgan, in this town I of 600. Cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. Hmm. Let's just examine this coffee. Look at it with keen interest. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. 
F K in the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get that going. smile on your face, dude. What was that? And what is F K? What? That was a nice scene. That was also one of the weirdest cutscenes I've ever seen in any video game ever. And it's only like two minutes into this video game in relative time. Like we've just started and that's the scene they're leading off, like one of the scenes they're leading off with. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this game. Have some fantastic coffee and find out what your fortune is for today. Coffee. Expect the trouble is coming your way. Lucky item, lighter. What? There's always trouble heading my way in this job. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. Same again. Boys have a lot of fun today. Lucky place, theme park. There's no theme park in this town, though. Hmm. All that good luck is just slipping away. But I think I'll have a thrilling enough time right here anyway. Extra for fortune telling. Who is paying me to do all these things? Uh, Probably shouldn't try to get in there. Ah, I like Mrs. Oxford. She just looks, seems like a nice lady. Hello, Polly. Uh, the ring is quite weak, but otherwise she's fit. Fit enough to run the hotel by herself. Oh, hi. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I'll sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you're the sales girl too, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city Ooh. hotel. Great, thank you. Alright then, did you want something? Let's talk. Heading out, I should warn you, don't be out too late. There's been a lot of trouble in these parts recently. Trouble? You know, the terrible murder, it's just so scary. Very true, but I am, you know, looking for the murderer. It would be so much easier if the killer would just show up and try to kill me. Oh, don't say such horrible things. Well, you gotta risk something to gain something. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I'm not that kind of lady. Zach, I think she's misunderstood us again. Info gathering bonus. Oh. Hi. Spy, what is she selling? Very well, just a moment. So she's selling coffee. Stabilizer. Cigarettes. Lollipops. Crackers. Donuts. Cheddar cheese. Bait. Hundred and nineteen dollars for bait, yikes. Hey, uh, I'll buy a fishing rod. Yeah, let's buy a fishing rod. I don't know if I'll need one. And I'll buy some bait. Maybe we'll go fishing soon. Oh, let's finish. Thank you, Mr. Morgan, and try to take it easy today, okay? Let's go. Sorry, I know you guys don't like zingers, but the camera control is just being weird. I don't know which one I want. So aim setting invert vertical, and camera setting invert vert vert vertical save. What about now? Okay, that's that's much better. Cool. <laughs> First day of investigation. That was a chapter? Okay. I got $210. I got $210 just for that, like 10 minutes, like 20 minutes of gameplay. 
I'm not complaining, dude. <laughs> An unbelievably delicious turkey sandwich will satisfy a large amount of your hunger. Ooh, it's the whistle song. I like this song. This song is so happy and nice. The police car. Hmm. Our office is open from 9 to 5. Don't be late, Sheriff George Woodman. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Let's just hope he's not King George III. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. This isn't a big city, dude. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Dude, usually these small types of towns are really, really nice because there's like nearly no crime, like no like petty crime and like people can trust each other, leave their doors unlocked, leave the keys on the hoods of the cars, but in return, like in trade-off for that, you just get extreme, extreme racism. <laughs> so if you can handle that, then you can live very nicely in these places. So boost. Brakes reverse, honk, steer, wipers on, wipers off, signal left, signal right, navigation, side brake, side brake, what's side brake? Accelerate, change view, B does nothing, A to talk, A to talk, X for headlights. And right stick to change view as well. You got the master key. You got a flare. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Uh, normal car turned into a patrol car. Not fast, but cheap to drive. Cool, let's just go. I was just checking out the controls, New York. Cool, I'm Zach then. I guess I figured it out. I am Zach. Ooh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I just got off the car again, but <laughs> I just saw that medal. How do I get through there? So, I figured it out. I'm Zack. So, I'm playing as York, but I am Zack. Like, the player. Me. Unless there's a twist that I'm not. Cool. Let's get in the car. And let's go to the police office. This is not the right way. This tower has some itch. It's a talk. I heard it say talk. Where does it say talk? I missed something. No. I'm sad now. I missed something. So, Zach, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays, 
You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Yeah, that's a good movie. 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but no, no, for some no, no, reason no. I still remember it's it pretty well. It's a good movie, dude. It's so sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. Wow. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I'm not going to write I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. So that is a that is interesting. You just have a button to talk about random stuff. So um, I'm gonna just get to the police station and end it there, I guess. Kind of a slow episode, but yeah, just getting back into the speed of things and just learning how this game works and what to expect from it. So which way am I going? Whoa! Oof, okay, that was close. Speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs Tell me. to mind. Tell me. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Like I'm going the wrong Back way in again. <laughs> directed by Douglas McCown. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still it was pretty good. The monster design with the mouth crammed full of teeth? I loved it. So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. I wonder how the sequel turned out. Usually sequels are shit. You know the special. monster in that one responded to sound. Wait, Zach. Sounds a lot like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Usually sequels for like cult classic horror movies are always shit. Usually, some of them are good. Like the Evil Dead movies, oof. It's such a nice pretty place. Uh, I wonder if it's gonna get destroyed or something. I don't want it to be. I mean, such a nice and pretty town. I love small town aesthetics like these, they're always nice. That's why I like Twin Peaks as well. Like, it just looks so nice, like all the people and stuff. I don't know. I don't know exactly how to explain it. Cool. Oh, my blinkers, <laughs> my turn signal's been going off the whole time. Sheriff's Department. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh. 
country ham will satisfy a moderate amount of your hang hunger. So a ham satisfies your hunger less than a turkey sandwich. <sighs> is this guy sleeping or is this on? Oh, he's sleeping. Uh, uh... What is that run? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. It's I'm York. Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. It's York. Thomas McLean, sheriff's assistant. Well, just like you said. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Call me York. Please, just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. Do you know her? She was such a bright and lovely girl. Mm, Did you know her well? Suspect number one. Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Yeah, of Why don't you take did. a look around while I go look for oh, it? Oh, okay? I'll do it. Let me know when things are ready. Zach nice Thomas run, appears dude. to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. I save my game. Yep, there we go. Cool. Well, things are starting up. Now, I'm not gonna say picking up, things are starting up because nothing's happened yet, but I really like the setting so far. The town looks really nice, the characters seem really nice, the cutscenes are delectably, delightfully over the, over the top and like exaggerated as much as I want them to be. And the mystery is gonna start picking up soon, I hope. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.